introduction to Test Rugby? <laughs> yeah, it was good, it was good. Um, from the anthems to the final whistle, it was a pretty special occasion. Um, standing out there, um, listening to that Scottish anthem, um, it was a pretty special moment. Um, I need to be able to come on um, later in that game and uh, for us to get the result, so uh, it's cool. What were you seeing out there off the bench and, and how do you think you could impact the game sort of, um, with the game today? Um, I think the biggest um, thing that we needed was efficiency at ruck time. Um, and that's, that's nothing to do with, with me, that's, that's our forwards and our backs making sure that our service is good. And um, Scotland did really well to slow us down there um, earlier in the game and I think the directness and the accuracy of our, of our forwards and our backs uh, in that contact area uh, really helped us beat the ball uh, later on in the game. Was there a moment where it felt like there was a turning point that you began to swing the momentum back your way? Um, I, I, I don't know, to be fair. Like, I always felt like we were in pretty good control. Um, I didn't feel um, that we were going to lose that game, um, both being on the bench and um, when I was on the field. Um, so I don't feel there was a big momentum switch because I thought we were always in pretty good control. TG, how hard is it sometimes when you come up to places like Scotland where they're clearly motivated, they don't play you very often, huge crowd, a lot of passion, to, to you know, when they've got a bit of belief building, how hard is it? I know you say you didn't feel the momentum was going against you, but the scoreboard was at that point. Yeah. So how, how hard is it to sort of find a way back into the game sometimes in places like this? Um, yeah, I think any place when you fall behind on the scoreboard against um, a sharp football team, it, it is tough. But you, just, you have to fall back on your processes and what... Um, your identity is as a team and, and for us uh, we understand how we want to play the game and we understand the strengths that we have so when things get hard we can't go into our showers we have to um, dig deeper with what we're good at and um, understand how we want to play and put our I guess our players who are game breakers in position to do that you see Ards, you see Reeks, uh, the way that they played the game the, the impact that they had even Geordie um, a few of his carries to put them under pressure his goal kicking um, you put your players and you put your system in positions um, that you trust and that you've done for a long time and that allows you to, to give yourself the best chance of winning, I think. Give us your thoughts about the guy behind you there. Not bad, eh? Not bad. two tries and pretty yeah. important try at the end there Yeah, well. an important try at the end. I think his first two touches, uh, Finn on Stuart Hogg, uh, so the broken tackle, then about 25 metre carry. Next touch try, not too bad, eh? It took me about 44 games to get my first try. <laughs> no mate's got two. Let's see, all good. Mark, is uh, international rugby just too easy? <laughs> nah, that's another step up. Um, I was just telling the others, um, it's always a mental, call, oh, mental, call, <laughs> mental and physical like prep every week, and um, I kind of if you don't get that right, then. We've been losing, so I think um, prepping was a big thing. Well, how important was it? You, you did get an early touch, and you did beat a guy, and you got into the game early. So, did that? How nervous were you? You know, when you when you ran out today, and then how much did that help settle you down, having that good start? Um, I guess for me, it was yeah, that first touch was kind of important. Um, as fast as you can get into the game was kind of important. So I felt like um, it helped me help me build into the game for a while with a lot of things, so yeah, I'm grateful for that. How did it feel dotting down for what turned out to be the winning try right at the end? <laughs> felt good, it felt good. Um, once Rick's gave us, so I was just just had to back myself, corner flag that, so yeah, cheers. How did you find Test Rugby compared to, to Super Rugby? What was the intensity lift like? Oh, it's another step, like I said, um, physical, mentally as well, so it's just a lot faster, more like um, physical as well, so yeah, not enough space. <laughs> yeah. You look fresh like you could play another game now. <laughs> I just jumped into the ice bath, so I'm feeling good now. Hopefully, tomorrow I feel the same as well. So. Have you heard from your family since you played? What were they? What were they saying? Oh, I haven't checked my phone yet. I'll hopefully check it when I get back inside. So yeah. Marcus, is it emotional for you having that, that national anthem in that, that first half? What was going to get your head in those moments? Um, I was kind of saying like uh, I was just cherishing every moment. Um, it was emotional for me because it's like your first one. And um, this whole week, they're always just saying, like, you never get your first one again, so just enjoy it. Enjoy the week while it comes. So for me, it was very just, like, day by day, trainings, preparation, all of that. So in my first Haka, first national anthem, all of that. So I cherished a lot of it. So. Uh, Thanks, Thanks Thank you. Samasoni, uh, how did that feel out there? It was a pretty, pretty tense old game. Um, yeah, really tired. Um, 
bodies a bit sore. I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot sore tomorrow. So, uh, like you said, really tough test match. And uh, went down to the 80th minute and uh, just happy that the boys um, came away with the win. So, yeah. Did you think with your early try, 14-0 up, that you, know, you had the game um, you know, well on the way, but they sort of came back in? Um, no, we've, we've talked about it as a team all week. Um, the scorers never go away. They're sticking there. They keep fighting, and um, they did. And uh, credit to them, um, coming back and leveling it up. And uh, going into halftime, we needed. We we're, were in for a tough test match. So, uh, like I said, which is our bench, our four came came when they came in the second half, left the momentum, and uh, came away with a few points and get the win. So, yeah. You and Cody are developing into quite a nice one-two punch, whichever way you yeah. sort of start. It must be good to have that that combo, even if you're not in the same the park at the same time. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Like um, I've said before, the hookers, uh, me, Asafo, Cody, right now, when Cozy was here, um, we form a really good relationship. We challenge each other and um, we get each other the best out of each other every week. And it um, doesn't matter if you're playing or starting or on the bench, you've got a job. And uh, yeah, just worked out today as well. So really happy about it. Cozy was saying, you know, this time last year, you played France, you played Ireland. You, you know, you had opportunities to win the game in the final quarter, but you didn't do it. But I hear today, you know, you, you find a way to win the game in the final quarter. W what do you think the difference is in this team now in terms of finishing opportunities that you, that you have? Um, I just think uh, compared to last year, with uh, the growth from the group, um, the playing group, the coaches and everyone, it's just um, knowing there's moments we need to win. And, um, and if we do that, we can come away with um, the wins like we did tonight. So... Um, like, like you said, uh, I think towards the last 15, last 20, we just wrestled back the momentum and got it behind us and uh, got a few tries and that penalty. And, uh, yeah, uh, really happy with it. Is there a bit of growing belief? Do you feel that a lot more confidence now within the team that, you, that you've got belief that you can that you can come home in these tight occasions? Um, uh, we, all, we always have belief. We um, trust each other. Uh, we know what we're capable of. And... Uh, the belief is always there. It doesn't matter if we are 20, 30 points down. Um, the belief is always there. Whoever's on the park, they will do the job. So, uh, yeah, the belief is always there. Mr. Uh, Sammy, last time you didn't play Scotland, you were barely playing so directly. Um, I guess, how does your sort of appreciation for the team different now to sort of before you came on this tour and you know, when you were in camp with the All Blacks, knowing what to expect? Appreciation for? Your, I guess your understanding of the strengths of the Scotland team. Um, yeah, so like I said, my first time in Scotland, I uh, really enjoyed the city, um, got to do some sightseeing, so that was really cool. Um, appreciate playing Scotland, obviously the last time they played them was 2017, and I'm not too sure when we're going to play them next, so um, yeah, every time you get to pull on the black jerseys, uh, it's a, more, a proud moment for me and my family, and uh, obviously to play against Scotland, a proud team, and uh, yeah, at home in Murrayfield, it's like, really special, so not taking that for granted, so. Thank you.